Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Marabus and in today's video I'm gonna talk about a new pet that came into the game called Ifrit. As you can see it's available at arena level 14 so only way to getting it is uh, to reaching level arena 14 and hope and getting 180 quantums of it or uh, if there's any event that gives uh, quantums for him or buying quantums with real life money. I would recommend waiting till you reach level 14 and hoping to get it by opening summoning stones. So let's ch check it out. As we can see, Ifrit faction is Horde. Let's see his animation. Okay, nothing special, but okay. So let's check uh, its skills. For skill, uh, Vortex of Agony, its physical damage creates a whirlwind under a killer role or random hero that pulls in opponents and instantly deals physical damage. Okay, uh, physical damage could be some, uh, sometimes good unless there's some sort of shield or preventing physical damage, but this could be good because uh, all the enemies will be formed in small circle and de instantly deals damage. Okay, time will tell. I'm pretty sure it's not a low amount of damage since it's level 14 pet. Second skin uh, skill, uh, Burst of Pain, uh, it's upgrade. Uh, while the primary skill is active, it deals damage over time to all opponents in the whirlwind. Oh, that could be really powerful. All uh, opponents that are in circle from a uh, first skill will, got, uh, will receive damage over time. Also, I'm sh pretty sure it's not low amount, since high level of pet. Let's check out the third skill. Trusting Blow uh, against uh, primary skill upgrade. When the primary skill ends, it deals damage to opponents in the whirlwind that ignores armor and magic resistance. Okay, definitely a good combination so far. Instant physical damage, then damage over time and after will when it's over or first skill is over it gets uh, another damage ignoring their armor and magic resistance okay fourth skill uh, uh, called assistance it's passive increases the agility of all heroes with the horde characteristic yeah this is good if you have uh, several heroes that are horde uh, factions and fifth skill for owner connections, it's passive increase owner's physical attack. Okay, this, that's definitely. Oh, come on. Uh, that's definitely good uh, vulnerability if hero is physical damaging, uh, does physical damage. So be careful about that when you put owner connections. But that hero would be great in combination with him because of this skill. Uh, increases the agility and receiving bonus from this it could be good for horde horde characteristic uh, heroes and your team setup equipment wise standard plus three red plus three and that's it i can say about this pet uh, not sure how good it is but from what i've seen those first three skills looks amazing uh, combination with all of them could be uh, devastating damage if you ask me maybe I'm wrong but time will tell okay that's all I can say about uh, this pet with this I'm going to conclude this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe button to stay tuned up with all my new videos also if you have any questions at all feel free to leave them down below in the comments sections thanks everyone for watching and see you soon